Hello there, and welcome to Calico Flower Studio. I'm Danny, and today I'm going to collage in my visual journal and talk to you about the concept of accumulation and what that means to me in my creative practice, but also um, how I see life through the lens of accumulation and how accumulation to me tells a story. So sit back and relax and enjoy. Welcome to my table. Today I'm collaging in my handmade journal made with handmade paper. How many times can I say made in one sentence? <laughs> I've got my little bucket of what I call my little things, which are the smallest bits and pieces of scrap materials that have accumulated in my studio practice. Just picking out some little pieces here and cutting them into sort of like small round-ish chunks. And I've got these pencil shavings from Colored Pencils. And um, I don't know, I'm just drawn to them right now. I really want to... See if I can incorporate them on this page. Incorporate them. Hmm. <laughs> that is so cool. Oh my gosh, look at that. It's so neat. It looks like the cross section of a tree. But it's just the shaving from a colored pencil. Now, when I describe my practice of collecting scraps to be repurposed in my artwork, I often and quite intentionally use the word accumulate. Accumulation is something that I think about a lot in my work. It's like a guiding principle in the way I make. And I think this makes sense for a lot of artists who are resourceful and tend to make things out of what they can gather from their immediate surroundings. I think thinking about accumulation today, um, I feel that it's only fitting that I'm working in this page that seems to have, it, it's an accumulation of a lot of the magazine material that I use to make this um, particular journal. It's very, it's very built up. Um, you can see a lot of the material, especially on the right page, the magazine pieces that are still intact but embedded in the pulp of the paper. I want to collect a lot of pieces for this page because I'm thinking about how a lot of little pieces can stack. I'm, I'm imagining a bunch of little pieces stacking on top of each other and then sort of leading me across the page. Naturally, for me, this represents, or I guess speaks to, much of what happens in my day-to-day -day life. Look at this little piece. Look at all these pieces, and they're all different, but they all have a specific story. I can honestly say that mm, maybe 99% of the time I can tell you where each and every little 
piece of scrap came from in my collection. That is in the shape of a heart because I was using it for a greeting card series that used rainbow hearts. There is something about the word accumulation that suggests the passing of time. It's something that happens gradually. So many small components that add up little by little. The dust in my house, the cat hair on our furniture, laundry, dishes, and eventually the accumulation comes to a point where I have to do something about it to manage it. But inevitably, the process is ongoing, just like the passing of time. Okay, let's get ready to glue. It's a photograph that I took at a uh, apple orchard in Ohio. This was a greeting card that was sent to me part of an old collage, another piece of an old collage, but it's, you know, um, marker on paper that was painted gray. So let's begin stacking all these little pieces together. Accumulations, in my mind, tell a story. And in reflecting on that, I can't help but think about my life, my story. Now, before I say what I want to say, I do want to point out that I really do believe that our ability to find peace in the present moment does not need to be hindered by whatever happened to us in the past. In fact, what I want to say might help me, or you, in embracing what is in this very moment. So, I can't deny that my life story, which is really just the story I tell myself, is an accumulation of events and choices that I've made. But, just like all of the little scraps in this bin, it's what I do with them that gives my story shape. What good stuff can I gather from my experiences to shape my unique and beautiful story? What about your story makes you awesome? What does the work of art that is your life look like? It all depends on what you do with it. And you are the judge of its beauty. No one else. And it's always accumulating and growing. More is on the way. I love how there's just this piece of newspaper or um, magazine. It's uh, a magazine that um, it's like a catalog for buying uh, seeds. <laughs> and so chard, or I don't even know if that's how you're supposed to say it, but um, there's just this <laughs> chunk of the catalog, just plain as day right there. 
charred. I kept joking. I said, I'm going to make the words on this page say, life is charred. Life is charred. So I've been working in this journal off camera actually, so there's a couple pages that I want to show you that I worked on. You all have seen this one, a great silent space. And this one, this one you have not seen, but it says we are small between the sun and sand, moving at the speed of light. Those are lyrics from a song by La Pore. And this one says, you are the altar, which is something I heard recently. And there you have it. So thank you so much for joining me. And I hope that this session sparked some food for thought today. And if you enjoyed it, please subscribe and join me for future videos. It was so fun, and I'll see you next time.